and share and you guys just click the share your button uh, how do I look do I look okay this morning do I look good my very uh, here we are at Student of the Gun University, and we just got done uh, recording a radio show. We got, just got done recording Monday's radio show. Monday's radio show is going to be Zero Tolerance is Fascism. If you're not listening to the radio, I don't really know what to tell you. Um, you're wrong and you need to fix I do yourself. Know, I know what to tell them that they should... Do that. They should listen to it. You have no excuse. So, and we have a public group now. Well, what time does it come on? Um, it's always on. We have a public group now. Hey, freaks. What's up, Brian? Uh, we have a public group that is available to everybody. We used to just have the grad program group, but now you can go to the public group, uh, view the pen post on the Facebook page, and there's a link to it. Or you can just search the group Student of the Gun, a beginner wants a student for life. Test the mic. Is everyone frog lubing their sword out there? I, I can test the mic, but you don't have your headphones in, so. Are you well, I can see the levels. Oh, we can see the levels. All right. I'm not retarded. I'm not Are you artist. not retarded? Are you an artisan? Retarded. Did that rape your brain? All right. We are. Cold Steel off. Gladius. If Let's you don't see. have one, you're We've wrong. We've only got like 89 viewers answer. on Facebook, so 93, we need 100 at least. All right. Good Did morning. everybody sign in? Is our is our Anarcha guy in? Worcester, Ohio. Drew Weil. That's, That's probably we're, Jeremy. We're, no, Worcester, Ohio. It's not Jeremy. Drew Weil. Oh. Creek Sword. Uh, we need more viewers. Share it. Mm. Ninety six, ninety eight. We need two more. Hundred views. All right, go ahead and start. All right. Good morning and welcome to Morning Mindset. Did I need to sync the cameras? Did I sync the cameras? Yeah. <laughs> That's how we do it. Welcome to Morning Mindset, and today we're going to talk about education, information, and intelligence. And you say, well, all three of those words are basically the same thing, and they all mean the same thing relatively, right? Mm, not really. Last week, I guess it was last week, uh, someone in the audience posed a question. They said, why is it that so many college-educated people that are intelligent fall into the left-wing, anti-gun, anti-freedom crowd. Well, you're assuming, A, number one, that because someone goes to college that they are, quote, intelligent. Going to college doesn't make you intelligent. Going to college means you were able to connect on Facebook. What the farfig noog in Facebook? I, I think it's because we got so many wireless things right here trying to stream. Mm, I don't know. All right, can I continue? Yes. All right, so what it continues. All right, information is just that. It's facts. I can present you with information. I can sit all day long and give you information. It doesn't necessarily mean you're intelligent. Now, education is the process of me delivering information to you and helping you to make it real. I'm helping you to take this information, these facts, these skills, and use them in your daily life. Make them practical. But you're not actually learning. You're like, well, yeah, education is learning. No. Learning takes place between your own ears. Learning takes place when the skill or information that you've received, when it works, when you have a personal epiphany, when you actually understand in your own mind, when you come to the realization that the information I delivered you, that the skill I taught you is actually worthwhile and beneficial and you understand the value of that information or that skill. That is learning. Now I can force you or people can force you to sit in a classroom and they can stand in front of you and they can deliver information to you. How many of you went to school, sat in a classroom, and you sat there the whole time and they just delivered information to you? But you left there and it meant nothing. And here you are five years later, ten years, twenty years later, and what you supposedly learned in that classroom has no application because you didn't apply it, you didn't really care about it, and so it meant nothing. People assume that the, these college-educated people are intelligent, reasonable, and rational. It's not necessarily the case. What do you have to have to be an intelligent, reasonable, and rational person? You have to have the ability to apply 
reasoning or cognitive thought, you have to be able to judge the information for yourself. How do you do that? Well, you do that as you're growing up. Why do we teach kids math? Because it's really important that every day that they do 2 plus 2 and 8 times 9 or whatever. No, we teach math because it helps the brain develop problem-solving skills. And that's why you advance math. You do basic math, and then you advance it and advance it and advance it so that the human brain can learn how to solve problems so that you can become an analytical thinker. Yes, an analytical thinker, so that you can analyze critically, that you can apply critical thought to any problem that you encounter. Here is the problem in the world that we live in today. When you base all of your education upon emotion and feelings, that is not critical thought. That is not analytical thought. That is you saying, I feel this way about the problem, therefore, my feelings are what counts. Tell me that in today's education system, social justice warriors, that is all about feelings. It is not based on fact. But when we have people going to college and getting majoring in social justice, what kind of insanity is that? You cannot major in social justice and come out on the other side with critical thinking skills. Because there is no critical thinking in social justice. It's you applying your feelings and emotions to the problem. So when people say, how is it that all these college-educated people can be left-wing lunatics, can be socialists? Don't they understand the dangers and the failures of socialism? How can they not understand that? They went to college. They went to college and learned how to apply their feelings to the problems. They didn't go there to learn about analytical thinking, critical thought. Let's face it, if you go to, we were talking to EJ here recently. He took a, a, a graduate level college course. Who's EJ? And uh, EJ Owens of legallyconcealed.org. Check him out, listen to him on, on uh, the radio. But he said he went to a class and the instructor asked him, the teacher, the professor, said, okay, what is the lesson here? They delivered and they said, what, are the, what is the lesson? And EJ said, oh, it's, it's this. And the, and, the teacher said, no, it's not. He said, no, what you're, what you're asking me, if you want me to regurgitate how you feel about it, okay, we can do that. But that isn't the lesson. The lesson is me taking the facts and the information, applying analytical or critical thought to those, and coming up with a solution. Anybody can go into a classroom and regurgitate back. Regurgitation uh, is how we learn. Birds a, B, C, D, E, F, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, our times tables and so forth. But that's just the building blocks. You're supposed to build upon that. And that's where we've lost it as a society. So, All right. Education, information, and intelligence are not necessarily the same thing. And just because someone went to college does not mean that they're, quote, intelligent. All right, freaks, listen up. Uh, we've got... Well, no, no, no. Oh, no Do not hold that up yet. We... Uh, are kind of laggy on Facebook, so we lost some viewers. We need at least 100 viewers before we even announce this. We have a rather a, a large announcement, I would say. What What is going on with Facebook? I don't know. Periscope's fine. Good job, Periscope. Yes, good job, Periscope. All right, we got 100 people on now. Uh, Daniel says, come on. Let's. You want to have them ask some questions before we announce it? No. Okay. All right, Zuckerberg, you scumbag. <laughs> What did we launch? We launched the, the Pocket Lifesaver student version. And you would know about this if you were signed up for the newsletter. Now, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, it costs you nothing. Go to studentofthegun.com, click on the big orange button that says seven training tips that can save your life. We're going to give you some information, some information for you to absorb and apply in your own life. And then you will be on Jared's magical email list. And when he has really cool stuff to tell you, he can tell you immediately. You can open it up and you can be happy. So the Pocket Lifesaver Student Kit, this is a, we're building, we basically we had the, the better and best level, but we didn't have the good. So now we have a good, better, and best level for the Pocket Lifesaver Kits. And I know a lot of you guys out there, when I say student, you're like, what do you mean? College student, high school student, yeah. How many dudes out there are like, well, I want my 15-year-old to have this, but 
that kid's forty dollars, fifty dollars, whatever. And if I give my fourteen year old a fifty dollar kit, that sucker's gonna lose it, and I'm gonna be mad because I'm out fifty bucks. Well, this is a viable option for you. Can we ship that to Canada? No. Okay. That sucks. No so shipping to we have, communist we countries. We actually have people on here that have never. Uh, what all comes in the pocket lifesaver kit? The student kit. Just yeah, go through each one of them. Okay. Really, you want me to go through the? Just go, go to just quick the synopsis. Yeah. Okay. Rats tourniquet is in the two big kits. Rats is a better tourniquet. This has a TK4, and you're like, but Paul. Isn't the TK4 less expensive and not as good as a RATS? Yeah. You know what? But I can't give you a RATS. A RATS tourniquet almost costs as much as this entire kit. So is a TK4 better than looking for a belt or a rope or a stick? Yeah, it's way better than looking for a belt or a rope or a stick. This is one of those things where I'd rather have this than nothing at all. It's got a TK4. It's got a full package of gauze. It's got gloves. It's got the... Uh, Three foot mini roll of duct tape, and it comes sealed in this plastic bag. And uh, it is water resistant and it is vacuum packed so that you can put it in a pocket and carry it with you everywhere you go. And you can quickly open it and use it when you need to. So you can take care of major bleeding and minor bleeding with this kit right here. Uh, no needles in it, no nose hoses. Uh, the needles and nose hoses and so forth are in the more expensive kits. Oh, cool thing, because I like you. You're like, hey, how, how much do you like me, Paul? Well, I like you so much that what I decided to do when we came up with this kit, and we have one single pair of just regular non-latex gloves, I decided to start adding one single pair of non-latex gloves to the standard pocket lifesaver kit. And you know if you have the enhanced one, the enhanced one comes with an orange wrap, decomp needle, nose hose, gauze, 18 Delta combat blood soaker, mini roll of duct tape, and two pair of black ninja tactical medical gloves. They're tactical because they're black. That's their tactical. So would you say they're, they're black tactical? They're, oh, really? Did you just do that? Black tactical. All right. So uh, we've got some people here that aren't really familiar with Student of the Gun, and maybe they don't know why you should even carry a medical kit on you. Oh, because why did guys, you design good that guys can and do bleed? All right. Step number one, from a personal standpoint. I've been carrying medical gear with me for a lot of years. I started, you know, when I was in the Marine Corps and even afterwards. I actually had to bandage his freaking head one time with a, uh, a military battle dressing. Oh, uh, been teaching TCCC as a member of a, a military contracting training team. And I had a kit. I had a G-Wiz, no kidding, blowout kit, medical kit, a big old kit with me at an event. That was a shooting event. And I rode to the range with a friend and I had a backpack and I had my kid in it and it was hot that day and I didn't feel like lugging my backpack all around so I said well I'll just leave it right here in the car well 200 yards away from the car that actually isn't mine that's locked and somebody else has the keys for and somebody has a medical emergency and here I am I've got a super G whiz you know tactical blowout kit and it might as well be on the moon because it's not where I am the person who's hurt and bleeding and needs my help is right here by my feet. My medical kit is 200 yards away. Like I said, it might as well be on the moon. And I decided at that moment in time that I was wrong and I needed to figure out a way to fix myself. And so that's what we did. We came up with the... Yeah, you got it in your pocket. Pocket lifesaver kit. Every day when I get up, I mean, I always wear a gun. A uh, gun, a knife, a flashlight, and I always have a kit. It's small, it's compact, there's absolutely no reason not to have it on you all the time within hand's reach. Because guess what? Sometimes good people bleed. Sometimes you might want to help them. Maybe you might want to help yourself. You're like, our turn to catch a bear, derp, derp, derp. It's, people say, well, you can't do that, you'll get sued. The kit's not for you, it's for me and for my family members. I'm not really worried that Jared's gonna sue me for applying emergency medical training or emergency medical uh, care. Emergency medical care? Yeah. So there you go. That's it. Okay, so if you guys, uh, we've got a bunch of people on here asking um, where to get it, and if you guys want to get it, where do they go? Studentofthegungear.com. Studentofthegungear.com. Uh, and also, well, I'll save that for later. We have an announcement going out to the list. Everybody that's on the email list later, 
Uh, this afternoon you're going to get an announcement about something else. So if you want to hear about that, then go to studentofthegun.com, click on the orange button, or if you're already on the list, you'll get it. And But right now, if you want the Pocket Lifesaver Kit, we got three levels of it. Um, student, the original, what do we call it? Student, and basic, enhanced. and enhanced. So go to studentofthegungear.com and you can get those there. All right. No excuse. Yeah, we, we went kind of long today. I've never seen the bad guys bleed, only the good guys. Oh, somebody, Brent, high point haters, listen louder. Brent Ams then posted a link for you guys down in the comments, studentofthegungear.com. Thank you, Brent. Um, now you need to tell us how to use it. Well, that is, uh, that that's a live class that we teach. So, I mean, we can't really We've been teach. promoting the Beyond the Band-Aid class for years. Yeah. We for can't really... literally years we've been promoting the Beyond the Band-Aid class. If you don't take training from us, take it from Tactical Response. Take it from TDI Ohio. Take it from, take it from me, you need it. Uh, no, I don't know who else does it. But uh, it's available. The training's available. Yeah. The gear's available. Our Beyond the Band-Aid class, we've got a members-only class coming up. And uh, the member, it's going to be, the sale's going to be closing soon. So if we don't fill it up with members, then I'm going to open it to the public. Uh, Mark Farner says Beyond the Band-Aid class is amazing. Uh, thank you, Mark. Uh, Ryan says, I know. You've never taken it. Ryan, I know that you have never taken it. But anyway... So if we don't fill up the class with members, I'm going to open it up to the public uh, to fill the last couple seats. If you are a member and you're going to be taking the class but you can't sign up right now, send me an email, info at studentofthegun.com, and just let me know so I can hold that seat for you. All right, kids. Have a, a blessed Easter weekend, and uh, we will talk to you again on Monday. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys. Got to make a